Tonight in part two of Sammy the Bull, legendary mobster and hitman Sammy the Bull Gravano is opening up about his life of crime. He's admitted to 19 mob killings. He brought down crime boss John Gotti, survived two stints in prison, and lived under the constant threat of the mob putting a hit on him. He says he's left the life. But you never really retire from Cosa Nostra. It's a blood oath for life until the day you die. My father, nobody wanted me in the mob. My, my father, I think, asked me one time, are you doing what Suvido did? Meaning, are you going in that life? I said, no, I'm done. I, I'm good. I'm good. My mother asked me one time, you got to worry about this? Listen, Ma, I'm good. I'm good. I don't have to worry about nothing. You didn't want to worry them? No, of course not. And I don't want them to think I was in the life. It's not something they would have been proud of. His hardworking parents from Italy could have never imagined their dyslexic son would one day become underboss of the Gambino crime family. Gravano became John Gotti's right-hand man by doing what he was told and then some. You actually got to a juror in one of his trials, didn't you? I got to every trial he had. Either I got to jurors or I got to witnesses. I got to everybody in all of his trials. You paid off jurors. Paid off jurors, threatened people. I did everything under the sun. Blind loyalty expected under the rules of Cosa Nostra in service to his boss, John Gotti. Rigging juries and killing people on his orders. Imagine you giving every inch, every fiber of your life. You're ready to give your life for somebody. Your wife or me, whoever the f it may be. And then she or me betray you beyond your imagination. It f***ed me up beyond my imagination. The betrayal began when Gotti and Gravano were arrested in 1990. The FBI had bugged their hangout in Manhattan. Hours of incriminating conversations that could put both of them behind bars for life. But Gotti wanted Gravano to take the fall. I would go away and he would get out. If that's not a rat move, I don't know what is. He said to you, you're gonna have to take the fall, this is just the way it is. Yeah, I'm the boss. The streets needs the boss and I'm the boss. This is the way it's gonna be. And I said, are you sure you wanna do this? You want this to happen? That's the way it's gotta be, Sammy. Okay, then let's do it. Let's do it to me is I got in touch with the government and said, He's all and I'm out. Gravano went to the feds. The FBI in their wildest imagination couldn't believe that I was going to cooperate. You had to break all those rules, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To cooperate with the government, all the rules that you lived under. I didn't have to do anything, but he broke my f***ing heart. He betrayed me. I gave him everything. This was one of the worst days of my life that I just, that was the end of me, I'm done. I'm finished. And I'll probably get killed. I didn't give a f no more. Who's all over my shoulder? Who's gonna shoot me? Who's gonna do what? I didn't care. Gravano's cooperation put Gotti away for life. Sammy got five years, a new identity, a new face, and a new home in Scottsdale. When I was done, and I was getting out in 1995. The government asked me to go in the witness protection program. I had plenty of money. I didn't want to go in the program. He lasted eight months and quit. You can't have your own family. You can't have anything. You have to start your life over with a different name. I didn't want to do that. You brought down the most powerful crime family in the country, probably. And there were a lot of people who would want you dead. Number one, I didn't bring down the Gambino family. I brought down John Gotti and a number of other guys who got collateral damage. Were you always worried somebody was gonna come try to whack you? I'm aware of things. I'm a professional hitman. I can see things that normal people don't look for. As far as looking over my shoulder, every time I see a good looking woman pass me, 
I probably look over my shoulder. But other than that, I really don't look over my shoulder. Gravano had a fresh start, but within five years was in trouble again, this time for financing an ecstasy drug ring with his son. After all the stuff you did, heavy, heavy, heavy stuff, and you've got a whole new lease on life, a whole new life going, and you end up in this ecstasy ring, and you end up arrested, and you have to go to prison for 20 years. Were you kicking yourself that you had gotten through all of this stuff, started a new life down here, and you end up back in the same deal? Well, I wasn't kicking myself multiple times, because the first time I kicked myself, I couldn't get my foot out of my ass for about three years. The bull was back in the pen. Inmates knew who he was, but he survived it the only way he knew how. One thing I think they knew, I made it clear. If you're gonna f with me, kill me. Because you, I'm not a big man. I'm, there's guys who are much bigger, stronger, younger. But I will fing kill you. I will make a shank and I will stick it up in your fing throat when you're asleep. I'm the last beating you're ever gonna give out. And they do that. It was loud and clear. He was a model prisoner and was released in 2017 after serving 17 and a half years. Do you feel like you've walked away from the criminal stuff and that you're, do, is there a freedom that you haven't, a weight off your shoulders, something that's changed? I think those are perfect words. There's a weight off my shoulder. I'm happy about it. It's not that I'm, I'm having fun and like I told you earlier, I enjoy what I'm doing right now. Legitimate people I'm working with. There's no killing, there's no stealing. We're making a buck. He's created a podcast called Our Thing, revealing the stories of his mob life. His interviews on YouTube have made him a sensation. And I want them to really understand and know the mafia. You're selling Sammy. Yes, yes. And I intend to, if God wants, and I live that long, I intend to do a scripted show. You loved the life, though, didn't you? Absolutely. I still do. You still do? Yes. He's 75 now and wants to set the record straight. You believe in God? Of course I believe in God. But How do you think you'll be judged? I think I'll be judged very good. God makes all of us, and you did things. And I think I'm gonna be able to talk back. And I'm gonna say, you made me. You had to know that there's lions and there's deer. I'm a lion. There's no question about it. But why didn't you kill me early in life? You, you did it your way. You gave me free will. You had to know what I am. God knows. You may be at the back of the line. Now, if meaning at the back of the line is you go this way instead of this way, and if down here is strip clubs, gambling, drinking, all kinds of shit, I'm gonna say, whoa, whoa hold that bus. <laughs> I'm going to go with that freak. I'll go down there. <laughs>